Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for April. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So I'm going to start off your reading, Gemini, with an important oracle message for you moving into uh, April. And then I'll be looking at past, present, and future. I'll clarify the cards and pull some advice for you. So your important message is polarity, polarity, okay? So there's a need for balance here um, between the dual energies, the yin and the yang. Uh, the message for you is uh, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the laws of pro polarity, okay? So there's something about um, the light and dark, okay? The polarities in your life. So let's get more information on this. So your challenge for the month of April is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so um, for many of you, the Ten of Pentacles is talking about some sort of long-term commitment that you're making, either a long-term commitment you're making in a job or long-term commitment you're making in um, a relationship, okay? So we're going to clarify and we're going to see what this Ten of Pentacles is all about for you. In the recent past, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Chariot. I feel like in the past, a decision needed to be made in regards to a connection, a very strong connection that you were in in the past in order to move forward. Okay, we're going to clarify and we're going to see. In the present moment, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Swords. I feel like in the present moment, for many of you, you're trying to get facts on a situation that you feel you are stuck in. You want to get out of this situation. You want to be free. And I feel like this is what you're working on, okay, in the present moment. In the near future, Gemini, you have the Seven of Cups. You have the knight of cups and you have the justice card i feel like in the near future there is a lot of options that are going to be available to you whether you're single or you're dating there's a lot of options here okay there's a lot of opportunities you may get a little distracted with all these opportunities i definitely see someone coming in here okay it could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces i'm also getting libra here okay so we're going to clarify and we're going to see um some more details into this for you First card I'm going to clarify, Gemini, is the challenge for you for this coming month, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So your challenge for April is clarified, the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. There's definitely a decision that has to be made between you and um, a person that you're dealing with, okay? I feel like you both are trying to figure out what to do moving forward, okay? There's definitely something here about balance. I'm really getting Libra energy here. I'm also getting Pisces energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio, okay? For some of you, it could be a Virgo or Capricorn. Either way, a decision is being made about possibly a large sum of money um, or a decision needs to be made about some sort of big long-term investment here that is affecting you and this person, okay? So your challenge for April is to sort something out here um, that is involving some sort of resources, okay? Um, and moving forward is what this is telling me, okay? There's something about you and someone else. You're working with someone or you're dealing with someone that you have to either divide resources with or you need to make a decision about resources here, okay? Not going to resonate for everyone, but this is what I'm getting here. All right, so in the recent past, there's a decision that was made in the past, okay? Let's clarify and see. Someone wasn't sure here on what choice they should have chosen in the past, 
So the two of pentacles is clarified by the two of swords, the two of uh, the two of swords, the six of swords and the emperor. Someone here in the past, okay, some of you are dealing with an Aries. I'm getting Libra here. Some of you, maybe an Aquarius, I'm getting that this person in the past needed to make a decision about whether or not they should have left this connection or they should have stayed. Okay, there was a lot of on and off here in terms of should, should I go or should I stay? Um, because in the past, I feel, Gemini, you were dealing with someone who really felt connected to you. This is somebody who was, it wasn't easy for them to let you go, even though the option was to either stay or go in the past. Okay. Clarify the six of cups here. So the six of cups is clarified by the nine of wands, the six of pentacles and the magician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something about your person not completely giving up on this situation with the Nine of Wands here because of the level of uh, memories and, you know, you and this person had a very strong connection in the past, okay? But I also see that one of you possibly moved forward or decided to move forward in the past, okay? So in the present moment, I see someone here single. They're, wor they're working on themselves. They're working on their business. They're doing their thing here. Um, but at the same time, you are worried about something or you are feeling stuck in some sort of situation. We're going to see what this is. I'm going to clarify the nine of pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like in the present moment, Gemini, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like a lot of you just want to be on your own, okay? You're really focusing on something here. Um, there's something about you wanting to protect your energy in the present moment, possibly because of some sort of past experience that you had. But there's also something in the present moment that's keeping you stuck. We're going to see what this is. Eight of Swords about... So the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the King of Swords. A lot of you are dealing with someone, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're dealing with someone here who's a little bit immature. You may be watching this and saying a little immature. They're, they're very immature. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's a, a mature, immature here, okay? This is someone who's making you work. Um, there's just something here that you know, either you're putting a lot of work into something or you feel like it's too much work to maintain this connection is what I'm feeling here. A lot of you are trying to get facts in the present moment in terms of what you should do in, in order to make a decision to move forward, okay? Because even though there was a decision to be made in the past, I feel like in the present moment, either the decision wasn't completely made or there's still this possibility of changing um, the course of action that you want to take moving forward. There's definitely information here about getting facts or needing to get facts in the present moment in order to protect yourself and to protect and preserve what you've already made for yourself. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just see in the present moment, you're trying to release yourself from something or someone because either they're not cooperating with you or they're not giving you the attention that you need in the present moment. And this is leading you to look back at the past and look at this person and see what this person is going to do moving forward, okay? So in the near future, I do see something here being set right between you and a specific person. You've been waiting for this. You've been wanting things to get um, resolved. There's something about a resolution here because in the near future, I see a lot of confusion, okay? Let's see what this confusion is about with the Seven of Cups. Now, for some of you, if this isn't a confusing situation, because it's not going to be like that for everyone, for some of you, there is multiple people you're dating in the near future, and there's one particular person that you like. That's what I'm intuitively picking up on. Okay. So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Temperance, and the Nine of Cups. Yes. Someone here uh, brings a lot of satisfaction to you. It's one specific person. And you have to make a decision, two of wands, about who it is that you're going to be choosing and moving forward with. One of these people, okay, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I'm getting Sagittarius here, and I'm also getting Libra. One of these people is going to make an offer to you, 
Okay, tell me more about this offer of love towards Gemini in the near future. It's like this person just comes on in, strolls on in and makes an offer to you. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Hangman, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. For some of you, it is a Virgo. I'm getting maybe a Pisces here or an Aries. I'm also getting Capricorn and Taurus. This person, they're definitely going to show up. Yeah, they're going to show up. They're going to make an offer to you, but I don't see them taking action. They're going to show you that they're interested. Okay. They're going to sh offer, they're going to offer something, but I don't see them actually taking action hundred percent towards you. They're going to go halfway and they're going to want to have a new beginning with you. Okay. For many of you, there's something here that needs to be set right. Okay. Possibly with a Libra before you move forward with this person. Okay. I'm going to clarify the justice and see what the justice card is all about. Something here needs to be set right in the near future, okay? Um, and it has a lot to do with the polarities here because the polarities are talking about the yin, the yin and the yang, um, the dark side and the light side of your life. Clarify the justice. Yeah. This is exactly what it's saying. So justice is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Death. In order for you to receive this love that's coming in for you, which I feel like it is possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, I'm also getting... Um, Aquarius here. For many of you, there is something here that needs to die out first. There's something you need to get honest with yourself about something that is ending in your life. And by ending the situation and really resolving it, that's when you're going to be able to accept this cup of love and move forward in your life. Okay. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, is the five of um, cups in reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of sadness because of some sort of past situation that didn't work out. That for many of you, you are going to be ending and moving forward to something new here, okay? Let's get some advice for you. The advice is the Seven of Swords, the Emperor in Reverse, and the King of Swords. What is it in your life that is bringing instability, okay? What is it in your life that is not working? What in your life is bringing a lot of deception and, dis and, and discouraging you to move forward and have stability in your life? You need to identify what's no longer working, okay? This is what's keeping you stuck. The advice here is, is to identify what is not bringing stability in your life and make changes accordingly, okay? So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.